Hello everybody, Stefan here, and welcome back to Mass Effect. So, um, it's been a while, but I was doing a different series, so, yeah, and I was feeling a bit lazy. But yeah, we're back, and we're recording, and since nobody remembers, me included, we were going to go fight Fist in Chorus Den. Whoop, right. I may or may not have forgotten how to Looks use like the... I may or may not have forgotten how to use the... Um, what the control... the game controls were. So, yeah. Ah, oh, well, no we're not. Okay, we're... Doing pretty well, I think. That guy was healing. Didn't know they could heal. Oh, hello. He, he got half of my shield down. Next. This was extremely easy when I had the sniper. That's... Oh, hello. That's, that's, that's pretty much the only thing I remember from this part before like real easy Ooh. come on guys kill him ah rex move I'm on it. Oh, hello i forgot about you More guys there. Let's see. Let's explode this. Okay. Uh, Garrus is out of shields. Yeah, no, he's still there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's go see Fist, huh? Can't remember. Really can't remember what was Stop here. Right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never liked Fist anyway. Yeah, Fist seems like an asshole. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Yeah. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Well, sure it is. And the obvious one, uh, whatever. Just, just use Omni Gel. I got one. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, and let's go take a look at Fist. All right. Oh, this was, this was hell. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, okay. Um, hey guys, any of you have anything? Let's see, Garrus sabotage that turret. Okay, I'm killing that one. Killing that one. Oh, and fist is done. Where's the quarry? Where are She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. <laughs> the Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Yep. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. Nobody does. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Good boy. Or not so much. Well, what are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. 
Yeah, Besides, I mean. We have more pressing concerns. The Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Yeah, yeah, we're going. Let's go save Tally. Uh, there's always time for this. And that's it. Okay, we're... Uh, not here, obviously. Whoops. Right. Well, it's not that button. Ah, and more enemies. Perfect. Somebody... Ah, okay. I guess I'm gonna move around. Oh. Please don't. Please don't destroy me. Oh, hello. That was a lag spike. Garrus is out of shields. I just about reloaded. Oh, wow. Hello. That's that. Nope. Nope. Rex. Rex move. Ooh. I, I want my shields. Also, I need to save Tally. Come on, guys. Oh, hello. Oh. Kill them with a melee attack. That wasn't a very good place to hide, by the way. You probably know that, though. Any more? Any more for any more? Nope. Okay. We got two and a half minutes to save Tally. Eh. Easy peasy. Um, if only I could remember where to. Hey guys. Yep. Oh wait, no. Wait. Was it the lower markets or was it here? Oh, it was here. Okay, there we go. Well, that was kind of lucky. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Okay. Well, that's bad. Yeah, that guy's dead. Next. Uh, and level up. Tally. Whoa! I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Okay, we're taking her to Udina. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how? Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? I don't like him. I really don't like him. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Get. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Nice. That was lucky. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. 
That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. No, nice of you to stop it right there. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't got another figure. The, voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Yeah, they're pretty Sounds close. A little far -fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. Yep. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods. The pinnacle of non-organic life. Well, I mean, and they are pretty Saren close. Knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. Yep. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. And yeah, I mean, uh, right. audio files. We need to present eh. this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? I want her. My name is Tali. I want her on my team. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take yes. all the help I can get. Yes. Thanks. You won't regret this. She sounded happy. I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay, let's take Tally and Rex. I like them. Empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. Well, that's what you're used to. Let's see. Um, whoop, right, wrong button. Here? No. Oh, the, the only available door, I guess. Come on. Let's sprint down, do a quest. Commander Shepard. My name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere no to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank hmm. you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Well, let's go, I guess. If I didn't totally suck at accents, I would probably try to do uh, an Indian accent, but it's gonna be more than uh, offensive. So, let's just go and speak to this guy. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Yes, I am, kid. Quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Oh, yeah, you Sir can. Serviceman Nirali Batia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batia no doubt told you. Yes, he did. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable. There is going to be more than enough bodies. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. That's cool. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Good Samesh kid. that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. 
good man. Okay, uh, where's the exit? Let's do a bit of a runner to go tell Mr. Batya. Right here. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Welcome. Okay, uh, we were going to the the Citadel Tower, I believe. Let's see in the Presidium. There we go, Citadel Tower. Tower. The loading screens in this game are very pretty. And we're here. We've tried to create organic environments back on the flotilla, but we lack the space for anything as grand as this. Obviously. You got tiny ships. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Woohoo! Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Nice. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Nah. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. Nah, this council is this blind. Is you proved Saren betrayed the council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. Obviously. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. Mm -hmm. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. Sure they can. A if it's a good enough. If it's a big the enough. Entire region. Keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull... Ambassador. <laughs> there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Screw you. You'll have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. That's the best way. Commander Shepard, step forward. Woohoo! Anderson's happy. He's very proud. Well, I'm. I was. Well, Shepard was his exo. So. Exo Shepard. That sounds always so funny when I think about it. 
Instead of Commander Shepard, Exo Shepard. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Okay. So. Huh. Bastard didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Whoa! Let's see, what was the button again? I? Nope, oh, that's inventory. Uh, you. There we go. It's you. Um, yes, I want the unity. It is very, very important. Next, I'm gonna get the store discount. But the unit is more important because now I can actually revive my uh, teammates. Yeah, awesome. I've always wondered if the Turians released the gentle page on their own, or if the council secretly encouraged them. Well, we're not gonna find out until the third game. Um, where are we going again? Right, in the CSEC Academy docking bay. Citadel, Citadel. Reporter's request. I think I already have everything here. Ah. Okay. Well, I guess let's go there. Well, we're already here. Um... Ward's location, Cora's den, and she was in the market, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, uh, right. Come on. The select button and the, the run button are the same. So if I run past something that can be selected, it gets very annoying. Ellie, you got something to say? <laughs> yeah, that's you're pretty right there. Um, <laughs> here, that's oh, I can't. Oh, I can. Why was it red? Huh. Oh well, whatever. Ah, there it is. I knew I missed something. Now, can't go there. Let's see. She was at the markets, I believe. We're just gonna run very quickly back. Where's the door? Show me the door. There it is. Right at the other end. <laughs> okay, and where does that leave? It's yeah, I think 
I think we want to go here. And then up the stairs. Yeah. And she was to the left there, I believe. Maybe. Right? No? My oh there. The the exclamation mark is there. Okay. I'm I'm a completionist. I really hate not completing quests. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Thank you. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Okay. Awesome. I got 400 credits. That's that's pitiful, almost. But whatever. Um, next. Well, I guess let's go. Uh. Flux, no. Where's the where's the car? Right there at the far end. Okay, I'm gonna take I'm just gonna take uh, a cap to the the CSEC Academy. Um wards I believe. Yeah, there we go. See sick. And we're here. Then we just gotta go up. Yay! Elevator rides. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Yeah, I can understand that. I mean, everybody wants their money safe. Ugh, come on. And we're here. Kinda. Come on. Tell is getting impatient. There we go. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. That, She's mm. quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. That's that seems very forced. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out okay. what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your okay. actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. 
Yeah, but the Spectre is bigger than a human. To. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Okay. Did I... Did I check this one? Yeah, Rex. What do you gotta say? Private docking bay. Wonder how much the Alliance had to shell out for this. Eh, I don't know. I hadn't. Okay, there. We scanned the... Uh, I was gonna say a creeper, but it's a keeper. Rather than a creeper. Although they are kind of creepy. These weird bug things. Stand by shore party. Contamination in progress. Yay, fry us. Heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere. And we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Mm. Meh. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Whoa. Well said, Commander. The Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Yeah. Awesome. What? I could examine something. What can I examine? A uh, nav manual 141. Okay, it's right there. go um, let's take a look at the but ugly ship so dark seriously we're in the future and we don't have lights that's almost shameful come on and down we go yeah the next the next Normandy makes me so happy because there are no, no elevators, so I don't have to wait any longer than I already have to. Engineer Adams, not my favorite engineer, but I didn't start with him, so I guess that could be it. Let's speak with Tally. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. It's Turian design. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting edge technology. A month ago I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. Oh yeah, you are. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. Yep. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. Yeah, that's that's uh, I can't believe you're pretty old. Still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. 
mostly. <laughs> That's we've tried to mm. make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla, grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Meh. I should go. See you later. Yeah. So, basically that's it. Oh, hello. Element Zero Core. Yep, that's an ESO core. That's what makes... The ESO makes the biotics. Apparently. Um, that's Garrus and Rex. Yeah, why not? Okay, but yeah, I think this would be it for today. Oh, wait, let me talk to this guy first. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head what up? What have you got? Whatever you want. Well, as long Why should I pay you? I Hell, the licenses alone have set me back okay. more than I'd like. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Let's see here. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Well, that's that's pretty expensive. Ooh. <laughs> I need. Wow. I need two zeros behind after my thing. Yeah, no. I'm not gonna be able to afford those anytime soon. Or these, for that matter. Grenade upgrade. Uh, nah. Yeah, okay. Not an interesting. So, um, that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. As always, leave your comments and suggestions down in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to check them out. And yeah, see ya.